Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. So today we're gonna do a comparison between G Roll Strawberry Cheesecake and Hamparillo's Strawberry. And I know what you're saying. This is not apples to apples. It's not even strawberry to strawberry. <laughs> but okay, G Roll's doesn't have just a strawberry flavor. So I thought strawberry cheesecake versus strawberry. Uh, there's a couple things to point out. Number one, the G-Rolls comes with two uh, wraps, right? And these are cones, whereas these are just wraps. Let me show you on the other camera. So this is the G-Roll cone. It's been filled, obviously. It comes with a filter down in the base. It's, it looks quality. It almost looks like cherry wood. I don't know how to say, but the color of it looks amazing. It comes pre-rolled, so you don't have to fiddle around with rolling the joint yourself, etc. Whereas the Hemperillo is a blunt wrap and you roll it yourself. Let me show you on this camera, right? Now, I rolled this uh, the way I rolled many blunts and that's by using a trick, excuse me, by using a pen. And that way it's uniformly thick, right? As I run my finger and masturbate the, the hemp roll, <laughs> it is uniformly thick, there's no issues, etc. cetera. You, you stuff it the same as you would a cone. It's got some filter down here that I put. And yeah, so the color between the two, right? This is, it looks like a very natural color for the Hemperillo, whereas this one looks like a cherry wood. I don't know how to describe. Another thing you'll point out is the blunt wrap from Hemperillo does not come with a filter, whereas the ones with G-Roll, the, the pre-roll already has the filter built in. So that's something to take note of because probably you will get filters to use with the hemp wrap. You don't have to, but of course, you know, you should because number one, you'll waste less sweet, etc. Another important thing to note is if you look at the two of these, right, whether it's on this camera or this one right here, you're going to notice that you can fill more cannabis or, or whatever dry herb you're putting in here in the pre-roll right here on the hemp, Hemperillo. And that's because I uniformly rolled this, whereas this is a cone and it tapers at the bottom. Is that a reason to choose the two of them? I don't think so, right? <laughs> but just something important to note. Let's start off with smell. I'm gonna take the Hemperillo, this is the strawberry wrap right here. Let's give it a smell. So this, the smell of strawberry is definitely there. There's no question that this is strawberry. In fact, if I didn't tell you and you picked this up and you gave it a t uh, like a, uh, a sniff, right? <laughs> Scratch, sniff, anyways. Um, if you gave it a sniff, you'd it smells strawberry, right? Now, it smells, it doesn't smell like strawberries that you buy at the supermarket, you take it that super pungent in your face. It's just, it smells like a scratch and stiff, uh, sniff sticker when you're little that's supposed to be strawberry flavor. You scratch it, you smell it, artificial, right? But it smells like strawberry. And it's pleasant, okay, as far as the smell's concerned. Let's take the one from G-Rolls. This is the strawberry cheesecake. Let's give this one a smell. I mean, this smell, <laughs> this smells like dessert, right? It definitely smells like strawberry cheesecake. It smells like you just ordered dessert after your meal and you're ready to take your spoon, take a piece. I've got some coffee right here. And you're ready to enjoy this bad boy. Between the two, which of the smells is better? Because it's not apples to apples, I'm gonna say this. This smells nice of strawberry, but it definitely feels art, smells artificial. This one is not supposed to smell just like strawberry, so therefore the artificialness maybe is masked by the fact that it is a combo flavor with the cheesecake, whatever. It does smell like dessert. So I have to say, as far as one to 10, as far as the smell is concerned, this smells up there. It's at least a nine, right? This one, I think is at least an eight. They both smell great, so I have nothing to worry about there. The other thing, like I said, is the Hemperillo comes with four, and it's also two euros for these four, whereas this was three euros for two. Obviously, local pricing, depending on where you're at, may be different, but they're relatively similarly priced. However, it comes with four for the hemp wrap, but it doesn't come with filters. That may be one of your reasons to, to, to decide. Let's go ahead and take the Hemperillo strawberry flavor and let's light it up first. Let's see how this one, how it tastes. I 
I do have a fan on me right here. That's why you see the smoke going off in this direction. Because without it, I'm sweating bullets, huh? You taste your lips, right? After you take a hit, they taste very, they taste like that synthetic strawberry, right? It definitely has some flavor. I don't know if, if you didn't tell, like if I didn't smell it and I didn't see the wrapping paper and I went and hit this, when I lick my lips, it's not that I'm tasting for sure strawberry, right? It does taste kind of candy, fruity, I don't know. And definitely it tastes synthetic. Um, but as far as what I know for sure that's a strawberry, when I'm tasting it, I'm not sure that I would. Now, you would, you would notice the smell of it. However, of course, when it's lit, maybe you wouldn't. But yeah, you won't. Because once it's lit, you're not going to smell it. But before I lit it, you could tell it was strawberry by the smell. But the smoke... It's pleasant on the lips. It's not that I, it's a bad flavor. It's just that it's not ringing in my head to say this is strawberry. And again, I'm not sure I would know it's strawberry like if I didn't know it was strawberry, right? But look at this burn. Let's go to this other camera. Look how it's burning. Super slow burn, super nice. Definitely, uh, as far as burns are concerned, this is exactly what you're looking for in a blunt. And so for sure, happy about this. Uh, no complaints, I mean, as far as whether I got strawberry or another flavor, maybe that wouldn't matter so much because if it's just about smell, but there is for sure a flavor that imparts, but that flavor is not the taste of your inhale. It's licking your lips, or maybe it is. I, but for sure, it's like putting your lips on this wrap, and then I think that's what it is, licking your lips, right? So it's a little added bonus. It's nice. Obviously, if you tried flavored wraps before, you know this, right? It's nice. All right. So let's leave this in the ashtray and let's light up this strawberry cheesecake from G-Rolls, right? So this one, again, is a cone as opposed to the other one. I've, I rolled a straight uh, blunt. And let's give this a try. Again, it smells like dessert. It definitely smells like strawberry cheesecake. It reminds you of that. Let's see if it imparts any flavor. Before I try to taste this, because that taste is still on my lips. That's why I have coffee right now. I figured to cleanse my palate, right? And I didn't have coffee this morning because I didn't have any beads, so I went and got some right now, and I wanted a coffee. <laughs> but I also thought that's going to kind of hopefully cleanse my palate a little bit, so I could tell the difference, you know? All right, let's light this puppy up, and let's see how does it taste, right? I mean, I actually know because this is the second wrap in this, uh, but let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, so let's say this. The reality is this one stays more true to the flavor in your lips, right? The other one, it's the way it smells and the way it tastes is different. This one, the way it smells and the way it tastes is very, it's the same or it's similar, right? This, licking my lip, I still have that idea of dessert. Whether for sure it's uh, strawberry cheesecake or not, not exactly sure, but it does, and when I say not exactly sure, it does taste like strawberry cheesecake, but I wonder if it's because I know that it's strawberry cheesecake. Because when I lick my lips, I don't know if that's exactly what I would tell myself that it is, but because I know it is, yes, it reminds me of that. The taste is super pleasant. I think this is one of their nice flavors that they have for G-Rolls. First of all, most of the ones I've tried for them are unique and flavorful and nice. And so, to be honest, Okay, these are more expensive, and I guess they're over two times the cost of these. They're similarly priced, but this comes with four, right? This was more expensive and it came with two, but 
because I don't smoke blunts all the time, just once in a while, I'd much rather go with these, the, the more expensive one, because they taste better, right? They're more true to what they're trying to be. Uh, I like that they're cones, they burn awesome. Look here on this camera, right? I should probably take a hit before it goes out. I mean, it, it smokes nice, it burns nice. Again, let's go to this camera. And the smell of the wrap is what it tastes like. So that, I think that's very important, that's nice, right? As far as the color of the paper, I think it's very unique. Uh, it's got a sticker right here on the bottom, and I think the sticker on the bottom is to tell you where the, the, the filter goes until. I also like that the filter's included, so you don't have to be fumbling for a filter. I mean, I have thousands at the house, but I'm just saying, like, what if you didn't? So I think that's a good selling point as well. But the bottom line, I think, when you're choosing one of these, probably you're picking it based on flavor. This one is more true, the smell to the flavor ratio or, the, or whatever it is, is more true for the G-Roll than it is the Hamparillo. The Hamparillo is super nice. I mean, this thing burns awesome. The, the definitely has a sweet flavor that I enjoyed. And I'm not saying that this is, that you should get this. I'm just saying this is a bit more true. And between the two of them, I would probably rate these at a seven and a half, the Hemperillo, uh, which to me is a high score. That's not a C, you know, if this was grade school. These I would probably rate at a nine. I mean, they're super nice. I really like the flavor. It's enjoyable to smoke. Burns nice, looks nice. Anyways, I think that, that that's a wrap, right? I mean, if I had to choose between the two, I'd definitely pick the G-Roll in this particular battle royale of the blunt wraps, baby. Let's see if this is still lit. I don't think so. Oh, it is. Nice. I was checking. <sighs> I was checking the combo of the two flavors. Let's try that maybe at the same time, right? Maybe I could get them both flavors at the same time. Maybe it would be nice, right? <sighs> that was a bit harsh, yo. Mm. I was dealing with the harshness, so I couldn't really talk of the flavor, but right now, my lips have like this flavor overload. I mean, almost like, from what I hear, from what I've seen in movies, you know, like if you put cocaine on your gums or whatever, it kind of feels like that, but in the most minuscule way. So I've heard, I don't recommend doing anything like that, I'm just saying, and I've never done that, but if I did, it was when I was young. Anyway, <laughs> guys, Gals, everybody, go pick yourself up either of the brands you're going to be happy with. But if you have to choose between the two, get this strawberry shor shortcake. Give it a try. It's sweet. It reminds you of dessert. And it makes you feel like you're treating yourself, right? Obviously, when you smoke a joint or a blunt, you feel good. But this just makes you feel like you're treating yourself, right? Guys, gals, everybody, I hope you like this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Till next time. Ah.